These are the two studies I've seen that look at cortisol in average people, not in the context of, say, an exercise type study. So some basics on this study. Um, it's body yeah. composition and hormonal responses to a carbohydrate-restricted diet. This is some of the work from the legendary low-carb scientist Jeff Volick while he was at Connecticut. So in this study, the first point, which I think is interesting, they, they have a control group and then the diet group put on a low-carb ketogenic diet. The group that was put on the low-carb ketogenic diet, they volunteered for the diet. They volunteered for that, which does introduce perhaps a problem from the scientific side, but again, the pragmatist in me says, well, that's more, it's more real life. Right. And they're going to adhere to the diet better because they wanted to do it. Yeah. Now, they were all considered healthy going in um, and, and same body weight. The low-carb diet, they transitioned. I mentioned the carbohydrate transition. They went from around 50% down to 8%. And then on um, table one, where they described the macronutrient breakdown, they um, were eating, they went up to eating about 170 grams of protein and about 160 grams of fat. And there we go to that magic one-to-one -one, um, by mass ratio. By mass, the fat and the protein is about one-to-one, -one, which by percent of calorie ends up being 60% fat-ish, 30% protein. And that's, that's, that's a great range. And interestingly, um, sort of conventional keto thinking um, worries about protein because of the insulin spike. Interestingly, in this diet group, they were eating twice as much protein as the control group. Mm. Twice as much protein, and yet their insulin, if we go to table three, the insulin in the diet group, the low-carb group, it changed from around 23 picomoles, which is high, down to 15, so a wow. significant reduction. Whereas in the control group, which is eating half the amount of protein, it stayed in the low 20s. It didn't change at all. In fact, it actually tended to go up a bit, but it was within the margin of error, so it wasn't a significant change. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. <laughs>